welcome to another Mithruna Monday video where I pick a Mithruna topic and I talk about it for a few minutes. Today we're going to talk about building in general using the block editor tool in the world. If you open your inventory make sure you have the build wand selected. That's I've got that equipped right now. And so today I think we're going to make a um, just one of those thatched roof cottages that you see around. I'm going to show you how I make those um, or how I made the original one. So to select a new block type, you hit E to open up the temporary block palette, and you can select different types of things. So I know I'm going to need sort of the stacked rock or the rock. So I'm going to go ahead and select a rock cube. I know from experience that the, the building is actually like six wide. So one, two, actually we're going to go ahead and excavate some dirt as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, yeah, usually I like to build the um, buildings as if they were real. So I tend to give them sort of foundations. I probably could have picked a, it's possible I may fast forward through some of this. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, currently the um, the world lets you remove blocks without um, removing the grass above it. That'll be fixed later. Again, we're just sort of in the raw mode of um, directly editing the world here. So we'll go ahead and place the floor down, which is going to be dirt. And as I recall, these are too high. And again, I like to build the building as if the as if real humans were building it. So the next thing we'll do is we'll put down the the um, sort of the mud mudstone walls, and we'll make them walls. The middle mouse wheel will rotate around the different orientations of a particular block that has multiple orientations. That can be useful for figuring out how you want to place them. It shows inside that dark cube helps you see which orientation the block is. So we can see if we've got the right orientation before we place it, because there's no block preview like in the blueprint editor. Um, I think we have something like this. Then the next thing would be the waddle and daub, which I think is at the top here, yeah. And we still want walls for that, so we put a wall here, a wall here. I believe we do wall here, wall here, and then I'm going to make one without a fireplace just because it's easier. And then there. So the way the cottage works is there are usually some, in fact, I may have done it for this window as well. But anyway, uh, the next thing would be to bring up the wood posts. Select those. And so we want a wood post here and a wood post here to be the window. I think it just looks better. And then wood post here, wood post here. Okay. And that gets us the basics of our our um oops. Gets us the basics of our house shell. And we jump up here and we will find the thatch roof thatch we want a just the regular roof we find the, the one we like I think it just goes directly over I don't think it overhangs I'm going from memory here but I believe that's the way it works Let's see yep looks I'm looking at this one over here to cheat oh yeah and we've got the uh, we'll put that in later Okay, so we should be able to come up here and do the reverse on this side. OK, 
Okay, so the thing that's different about the regular thatch roof versus this one is the regular thatch roof has a, um, a little peaked uh, bump out here like that. So we will do the same here. actually in the right place already. Oops. There we go. And so then we can start, um, I think these end up being all the way across. And same over here. Oops. Okay, so we're starting to build up. I'm going to stand up here. Being able to fly is uh, useful. Um, that won't always be the case, but it's certainly useful now. And so these will get one more. I'm using the C key to select something that's already there. Uh, makes it easier to sort of continue where you left off. Um, so we ought to be able to come over here and do this, jump up here, do this, and this will bring us the peak of our little uh, house here. And finish that part. Now the real version has a little bump out here, I think it starts, yeah, one up from there. Um, so kind of like this, and then one here, and one here, kind of like that. And I think it comes out, that's it. And then um, I'm gonna grab one of those wooden posts again with the C key, and I think that comes out like here. Oops, wasn't selecting past the grass. Um, so we do like that, and then the other corner. All right, and we've made a basic thatched roof cottage with no chimney, but that's how I made the original, more or less. And I made them so many times that it was really easy to then create the prefab that gets put in the world. But normally there would be a chimney down here and there's some wooden structure that happens inside if we go in and we look at the regular one. It's slightly more complicated than the one we just built, but I was trying to keep it simple. So the, yeah, so there's wooden. If we wanted to duplicate that, we can come over here um, and um, clear these, these out and replace them with wooden beams. To give the house some structure. Normally when I would build these, I would build the whole structure, these um, posts and these beams and then go and fill in the rest, kind of like a human might build it. Uh, the Last thing we'll do for the final touch is the, I believe they're high beams, which lets us put um, sort of these um, beams in here to give the, the house some structure. Um, I think actually the real ones have these flipped. But anyway, that's that's basically building in Mithruna. Uh, hopefully, you're able to follow along with the little key hints and mouse wheel and mouse hints down at the bottom. And that is a thatched roof cottage. Way easier to create than some of these other uh, more monstrous buildings. The thatched roof cottage is one that's a single prefab, whereas a lot of these others are actually randomly generated from parts. So this is a nice one to use as a demonstration. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please click the like button. If you aren't subscribed, please consider subscribing. If you have ideas for future Mithruna Monday videos, please leave them in a comment and I will try to make a video about that in the future. Thanks for watching.